guys welcome back to my channel as you can see we are in my daughter's nursery today um it's not finished it's not at all we'll get to that if you guys ever want a nursery tour we'll circle back to that but today we're going to be talking about my personal baby must-haves again i just want to preface this is my personal baby must-haves because come here come here i gonna tell you a secret you don't need most of these things like <laughs> genuinely you don't need most of these things um and honestly they are very baby specific and baby dependent and basically what i mean by that is that once you have your baby that'll kind of determine a lot of the things that you actually need and what actually becomes your personal must-haves just because like i said every baby's different and some of them need things that others don't so i'm just gonna go over my personal ones um so that way you guys will have them and i'll give kind of like um a spill a little bit about like why it's a need for me so that way when you have your baby you can kind of determine if it's something that you need or if it's something that maybe you can pass on and then i'll also try to include just some like basic things that to put on your baby registry because i know that's why a lot of people watch these videos is just to at least kind of get like a gist of what to put on their registry um but yeah so i'll just start off with my first one and it's going to be what i am currently wearing which is a baby carrier um honestly i don't really think it matters what baby carrier you have i have two mom cozy baby carriers and I also have this, which is the Infinco. If I find it, I'll link it, but it's basically just your basic um, one that you can get at Walmart, you can get at Amazon. Um, I went on um, like a mom's page on Facebook and just saw what was the one that everyone was loving. And this was one of the ones it goes, um, so it faces backwards like this and then she can also face forward so if i flip down this little patty thing she can face forward and so just for us this is an absolute necessity we take it everywhere and anywhere because as you can tell right now she is asleep <laughs> and i could not film this video right now if she wasn't asleep so this is definitely a must have like i said um i also have the mom cozy ones those ones were great too um and are great too so really just kind of like pick which one works best for your budget and just go off of that um so secondly um another must have for us is actually going to be a warmer so it's actually right here in my background i don't know if you guys can see that but um it's a wipes warmer and so this is one of those ones where i kind of say it's a specific necessity for us because she hated i mean hated when anytime we would wipe her butt with a cold wipe she hated it um she screamed in the hospital she screamed when we got home from the hospital any and every time we would go to wipe her butt with like a cold wet wipe she screamed so i went on amazon it was a part of my registry but it wasn't a must have until i had my baby <laughs> and then we got this one off of amazon it's just the it's the munchkin um baby warmer and so when that one came in um we started using it and she's been great ever since she's kind of faded out of it a little bit i feel like it was more of a newborn thing just like adjusting to the climate and stuff like that of being out in the world she just was like no i don't i don't like temperatures but um now she's like a little bit better at it but we still use it because you know it's still really great and she still loves it so yeah that's another thing that i would say would be a personal must have just basically based off of your baby um the second one i would say oh third my bad okay i'm not going to use numbers because i'm gonna get lost anyway um the next one i'll say would be her kick and play so i'll try to insert a picture here if i can find one but i also got that off of amazon it's just your basic baby like kick and play situation the reason why for me i'd say that's a must have is because she loves doing that in her in the mornings i um do this as her like morning routine so we like get up 
she'll get on her kick and play for a little bit um she kicks and plays her music or sometimes she'll just lay there and kind of um like grab at her feet and stuff like that which is great for her to like stimulate her brain and stuff like that in the mornings and then also um i use it for her tummy time um so you want to try to get in tummy time at least once a day that's what my pediatrician said i'm not I'm not saying that from a doctor's perspective. I'm just saying that from what I've been told and what my pediatrician said. And so um, that's kind of where we do it at least once a day, just so she can, you know, build up those skills of like rolling over, starting to crawl, moving her body, stuff like that. So that's a personal must have for us because like that's where I do her tummy time and that's what um, I like to do her morning routine starting off with but again you can do tummy time anywhere on anything so don't feel like that's a need that's just a personal one now excuse me um this weather is gross but <laughs> the next one I will say is um for the bath so bath time now you can't give them a bath until um their belly button umbilical cord situation has all been um handled and done but once you can give them a bath i personally would say there's this leaf one again if i can pop up a picture of it i'll pop up a picture of it i actually have it here hold on so yeah it looks like this um and so it's like this petal situation and you just kind of like clip it together it creates like a, a petal thing i don't know if you guys can see that and then you just kind of like put the baby in it i would highly recommend that um just because there's another bathtub that you can get we have both um but when they're really little i'm talking like newborn one month age it is so much easier to put them in the sink in that little petal thing than it is to put them in the bathtub we have like a really deep like soaker bathtub and so anytime i want to bathe her in the bathtub i have to like physically get in the bathtub with her because she's so little and like trying to like bathe her and like move her around while like my arms are it's it's a whole mess so i would highly recommend if you have like a deep bathtub um or you're just someone who like wants to be extra safe and careful with like a tiny newborn i'd recommend that first because it's going to be so much easier to like maneuver and handle the baby in the sink than it would be in the tub if that makes any sense so yes that would be another must have that i would say um to put on your registry there that one for sure would be a registry one um not just a personal one because you do need some type of bath situation to bathe the baby um next up i'm gonna say is going to be the car liner um so i just recently got this it was gifted to me by a friend um i'll try to pop up a picture if i can find one because it's in her car seat right now but essentially it's just a liner that goes in your car seat they typically sell them in two stages in your newborn and then after newborn when they get a little bit bigger stage we just got this like i said so we didn't have it for the newborn stage and the reason why it's on my must-haves is just because um we would get so worried about her because when they're in the car seat sometimes their heads slump forward when they fall asleep and so they say if that happens you want to tighten the straps and so we did that but still sometimes her head would like slump forward when she would like fall asleep um and we'd get worried it wasn't ever an issue or a problem but it can be so that's why i would highly recommend that because i didn't know that was a thing like until it was gifted to me i had <laughs> no clue that there were car seat liners that you could put in there you can get them in all different types of colors all different types of materials and styles they're super cute but it has definitely helped her head kind of stay upright or if she does slump over to the side it's more like this way or this way not down like this so i would highly highly recommend one of those because it'll just give you so much peace of mind um <clears throat> excuse me now 
for the car seat and like car situations another one that i would say is a must have and i would highly recommend is some type of mirror or camera so we have both in one of our cars we have the mirror that you put on the headrest so you can see the baby through your mirror and then in another one of our cars we have like a camera situation so it's a camera that you put where you would put the mirror and then it connects through your car and then there's a screen that you have at the front that you can see the baby from and so um, I would say there are pros and cons to both. I would say it's a must have to at least have one, but if you are going to go with the mirror, um, that one is great. Just know at night you can't really see them. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you at night. Um, it's one of those things where you can kind of just have to like, you can see their outline, but if you're really trying to see like what they're doing like if they're okay it's it's gonna be a little hit up and miss depending on like how light and bright the area is that you're driving in um and it's kind of one of those things where you just kind of hope and pray that they're okay and you put the pedal to the metal and you get home uh, that's all i can say about that um when it comes to the camera one it's great for night because the one that we have um i'll link it below if i can find it it has a night vision setting so we can see her at night see more than just like her silhouette at night and see her moving and stuff like that um but i will say like there are times um in the daytime where it might be too bright back there or sometimes like um the video quality like because it can come unplugged if you like move it too quickly or stuff like that so sometimes it can be a little bit of a hassle to use that one um during the daytime and stuff like that so that's what i'll say like there are pros and cons to both just pick again for that one whichever one falls into your budget the best and then also just whichever one that you feel is the most user friendly for you um so yeah and then since we're still in the car another one i'll say is going to be a car toy so um as you'll find out around like like i think around one one month one to two months is when they start being more awake and active in the car and um sometimes they like it <laughs> sometimes they don't sometimes they will just be screaming bloody murder in the back seat um and so it doesn't work every time but when it does i'm very thankful that i have it and so that can be anything we have some that are just like hanging like little um jingly things that she likes to like hit or like move around in her hands and like suck on and then we also have like this ball thing that like crinkles makes sounds and stuff like that that she likes to use and she'll punch it sometimes when she's angry so <laughs> that's just something that um is another personal must have just because like um it's gotten us through a lot of times when she's like when we're like driving down in traffic and she's just not having it that day she's just not having it so yeah um again you can pick whichever one you want but i'd say some type of car toy would be very beneficial um moving out of the car that i'll say is going to be some type of baby blanket so we were fortunate enough that a lot of our friends and family members like made us blankets so um my husband's mom made us a quilted blanket for her um his aunt um my in-laws um friend like there were a lot of blankets that were gifted to us and i know it like may seem like such like a random thing but it is definitely a must-have like having a baby blanket it's so versatile it's one of those things that you don't really think of it until you have it but when like you're going outside and let's say it's cold and you're carrying the baby in the um car seat and you want to make sure like the wind isn't getting in i just throw that baby blanket over it over her um when we're sitting on the couch 
we yell messy um because you know babies throw up they um <laughs> they drool they have all those things that happen so i just keep a blanket on the couch with us to make sure that like you know um it's not always getting on to the couch um she can if i lay it down on the ground she can do kick and play time on that if you were wanting to not get like an actual kick and play but you were just wanting to do um just like a simple blanket time situation um and then also just when you're let's say instead of taking your baby um in the car seat you just take them out of the car seat and you put them um like you're grabbing them in your arms but it's cold you can wrap them in a blanket like there are just so many times where i've had a blanket and i've used it and um when i haven't had it i've missed it so that's why i would definitely say it's a must have um because you can you can have any you can have any it doesn't matter um where you get it from what it looks like i just say a blanket comes in handy really really well um so the next one i'm gonna say which is kind of on the same lines of like blanket bedding stuff like that um is going to be a sleep sack now there are plenty of sleep sacks to choose from um our personal one that we use it's actually hanging right here so we have multiple of these um my mother-in-law bless her um got us very many of these and i love them um so this is what it looks like it zips down the front and so it zips both ways if we needed to change her and it just has like the feet out and then it has her hands out now this one is very specific to our daughter um and so the reasoning why I love this one in particular is because for one, she loves having her feet available. She likes to kick a lot in the night. She kicks me, she kicks everything, she gets gassy, she needs to curl up her feet. It's open, it's available to her. Secondly, um, her hands are available to her. She really loves her hands. She loves sucking on them, it's been a thing since she was in the womb she likes having her hands in her face her hands free her hands to hit me in the face in the middle of the night like she likes her hands so that's one thing that's really great that it's free and then also like it being a full sack um it's like a giant blanket that she sleeps in and so that's really great because of course like babies when they're young like you can't put blankets and stuff on them it's not safe sleeping safe things for them to have things that they can like pull up over their head in the middle of the night stuff like that so this is a way for her to have like her own type of blanket comforter while she's asleep and I'm telling you it knocks her out so well in the night like we used to just put her in a onesie and put her to sleep and she'd stay asleep a little bit but when we put her in this she slept through the night so much better um so i would highly recommend a sleep sack again um this one is a personal one for my baby multiple different babies would like multiple different sleep sacks so i'd say do your research and also this one like i said we got this one after she was born so i don't feel like this is a register necessity i feel like this is kind of like once you have your baby assess um from there because we got swaddlers um i bought those from target before she was born and she slept in them no she didn't even sleep in them we put her in them one time and she hated it because she doesn't like her arms being down um she doesn't like not being able to reach her arms and she just didn't like being like constricted like that and that was that was just our baby like when literally in the hospital she would get her arms out of the swaddle that the nurses would put her in and we're just like okay and so <laughs> that's just something we learned that she's just not a baby that enjoys being swaddled and so that's kind of why we switched um to a different type of sleeping situation for her but yeah so there's that 
Um, another one that I'll say within the sleeping realm will be a breastfeeding pillow. Highly, highly, highly recommend. That one I would definitely say is a registry one that you can go ahead and like put on your registry if you are planning to breastfeed. If you're not planning to breastfeed um, and you're not thinking about breastfeeding, then you don't really need it. It's not a necessity necessity, but if you're planning to breastfeed, I'd say go ahead and put it on your registry because even if you don't end up breastfeeding, we have still used it without me breastfeeding. And so I'll give an example of that basically like, um, I use it to prop her up sometimes. So the one that we have, um, I'll try to find a picture and insert it, but there um, is a headrest. So it's like the pillow and then there's a little pop up that has the headrest. And so I've put her just in it to prop her up, not to sleep, because I know there's like um, people talk about um, not putting your baby in those things for sleeping and stuff like that. But like if she's getting to the point where she likes to sit up more than she likes to lay on her back so I'll prop her up in it and she can like sit up like play with her toys stuff like that and so that right there has been really great and then of course when it comes to breastfeeding it's it's very it's really great especially in the beginning I actually took mine to the hospital with me um and it helped out a lot because I was able to um, prop her up in it prop myself up in it um, and when the nurses would come to like help me with breastfeeding it was like very easy and stuff like that like you can use pillows like normal pillows and stuff like that but if it is something that you are thinking about I would definitely say go ahead and put it on the registry you'll get use out of it um, another thing that um, I don't know why it's taking me so long to mention um, because it's like right behind me, but a changing table. <laughs> changing table, changing, changing. Sorry, I was trying to live out my, um, what is that lady's name? The Vanette, where in the, when the wheel of fortune, you get it, you get the point. Anyway, um, yes, so a changing table is definitely a necessity and a must have um now some type of changing table situation whatever you choose to do um but you it is a must have um we did an actual changing table because i just didn't want to do a dresser um i don't know if you guys can see over here but i kind of hang clothes I like them hanged. I like to see what's being hung and stuff like that. And then we just have a small little um, dresser that I got from Ikea for like any of her socks, bibs, stuff like that that we just kind of throw in there. It's a small one that just fits in her closet um, because I just would rather have things hung. It's how my brain works. I like to see things laid out in front of me. It makes it easier for myself personally. But if you're someone who loves a dresser definitely get a dresser and if you want to do like one of those changing pads on top um definitely do that again do what works best for you but just make sure you have some type of changing setup situation because it is a necessity um we have a like I was planning to do like a little setup in our bedroom, um, like a little basket, changing mat, stuff like that. We didn't use that. We didn't use that. <laughs> I was trying to be all cute and stuff. There's stuff in that basket and I do use it regularly. It's like a bedside table basket or whatever. But I will say like having an actual changing, changing table is so much better because in the middle of the night when you're asleep or your significant other is asleep it's so much easier to just go to the other room than it is to try to do it in your room i'm sorry she's starting to wake up so i'm gonna wrap this up um so so a changing table is gonna be one of the things that i would highly highly recommend i'm sorry but yeah so she's starting to wake up so i'm gonna wrap this thing up um, thank you so much for watching. Those are all my baby must-haves. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. 
and I'm gonna get out of here. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Do you want milky? Are you just waking up and angry?